It's a way to do it. What's going on? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been doing good if you are new. What's up? My name is Tashai. Welcome to the channel. I do a lot of beauty, a lot of fashion, a lot of lifestyle, a lot of vlogs. So if that's your kind of vibe, make sure you join and subscribe. So today we have a full face of new makeup. Like when I say I cleared the wish list. I cleared the wish list. Like, guys, this bag is completely full of new makeup, new products. Not really necessarily new, like 2022, but new to me and my collection. And I can't wait to try them out. So, yeah, let's just jump in. It's going to be kind of a chatty, get rid of me, real chilled vibe. So, yeah, let's get into the vibe. Let's get into the video. I just moisturize my face because I cannot sit here anymore with a dry face. It's definitely winter time. Now, when I tell you guys, we have about five hours of daylight these days. Come 2.30, the clouds is in and it's going dark. It's crazy. So I'm gonna try and film this video as quickly as possible. It's just about 12. Yeah, I gotta do this in an hour. So let's get into it. I can't believe it's my first video in like a month. It's actually insane. I, I don't know if I let you guys know this, but you guys will see in the vlog, I started a new job. So your girl is like trying to balance her time and get into a routine and your girl has been tired, like tired. The commute and everything is so draining but i feel like i'm getting into a routine now and getting into my priorities and getting everything back in order but anyways let's get into the glam so yeah i need to moisturize my skin first product i'm going to use is actually from charlotte tilbury if you follow me on instagram which you should be doing because that's where i update day to day and i always let you guys know all the deals that i get because by the time this comes to youtube all the deals that i got gone went in the past yesterday so they gave me two samples in my package i got the magic cream and then i also got the super fusion facial oil i'm gonna keep this for my skincare routine just because i feel like i don't feel like putting an oil under my makeup i just don't feel like that makes sense so i'm gonna go in with the magic cream so i'm just gonna finish the sample now because i feel like i only got a little bit left that's how she looks she's quite thick in consistency um i've used this now i'd say about three times and i really really like it i can see why makeup artists tend to use it on their clients and why it's so raved about it is on the pricier side when it comes to the amount of products you get compared to the price but um i do feel like it's worth it and i think it might be an investment to make if you're looking for a really good moisturizer i mean there's so many good moisturizers out there but i do have to say i really get to the hype so i'm just gonna moisturize and get this into my skin you see how glowy and like hydrated my skin looks like it's so good okay so i've just put my hair back if you guys see my edges i got a closure wig so it is what it is so we are trying the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation this is my first charlotte foundation i'm feeling very Lux right now <laughs> and it's in the shade 16 cool pump it on the back of my hand oh and that's how she looks i feel like she's a pretty good match i'm just gonna apply this with my finger and then blend it out of a brush so i'm just gonna dip in and just apply her around my face And from what I read, I'm actually going to go over a little bit more. From what I read, it is meant to give your skin a really nice radiance, which is like my favorite finish when it comes to foundation. I'm use my e.l.f. buffing brush and we're just going to tap it in. It doesn't have any fragrance, which I actually really like because I cannot stand when there's unnecessary fragrance in my products. Like, who's actually going to smell my face? Who? <laughs> let's blend this in i did use this yesterday so i have a bit of a review i will say this ain't cool at all i don't know where they got these descriptions from but this is definitely giving warm it's actually i don't know if you guys can tell it's a little bit red but it works really really well i really like it i do really love the shade match look at how flawless that is I kind of feel like I put on a little bit too much, so we're just going to give full coverage today, I guess. I would say this foundation is more like medium. You probably can build it up a bit, but I feel like if you do have problem areas, you'll probably have to go in a little bit more. So now we're going to go into eyeshadow. This is the Escape Pod palette, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I think I showed you guys this in a vlog. How gorgeous is this palette? I'm going to do something with some color today, because I feel like I've been doing soft matte. I feel like since 2020, everyone's been doing soft matte, soft glam 
this type of like simple simple makeup just very subdued makeup and there's a way to use color in your makeup that can look really beautiful and especially with like black women melanated women i feel like color looks so amazing on us and i just want to see a bit more of it like it doesn't have to be that when you use color on your eyes you use any type of color on your makeup that it's gonna look like instagram makeup or it's gonna look too artsy there's a way to do your makeup that still will look elegant give opulence give the black girl luxury or still look like that girl while being cute and fun you know i just want to bring the fun back into makeup i want it to be so mundane because i just feel like makeup was never made to be mundane and boring it was made to like be a way of expressing yourself and having fun and i i want to have fun again <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna quickly put on my primer and then i will be back to kind of show you guys briefly what i'm doing with my eyes i use a lot of like the oranges and browns in this palette just to kind of create like a transition i did go in with my header palette i used confident and legacy which is like a brown and orange just threw that in my crease just to start it off and now we're going to go into the main event we do have like a cute little brown so i'm going to use that in my outer v we have some really nice like matte shades down here i'm going to use the shade um is it mardi gras i'm going to use the shade mardi gras that purple and then i'm also going to use like a shimmery purple in here and i think it's called this one it's this one called cosmic cabaret i'm going to use those like, three shades Pretty. I'm not even sure if the camera is going to pick it up. Okay, so lash the on. Let's get into concealer and uh, bronzer and all that good stuff. So for concealer, I'm actually trying out this new H&B Cosmetics Soft Focus Concealer. Now, the girls are going crazy on this, on the clock app. So I got this in the shade SF5W. I'm actually intrigued to see what it's like. I literally just blindly just went with what I saw online. Hopefully it works out. So let's get into it. She is super creamy, for sure. So, I feel like I put a little bit too much, to be honest. Eef. I feel like I put too much. But the shade, I'm not, I'm not in love with. I feel like it's a little bit yellow, a little bit golden. I was expecting it to be a bit more rosy because that's how I like my concealers. But we're just going to have to see when we blend it out. I feel like I put a little bit too much. Yeah, I definitely put too much. It's going to be giving full coverage, but the skill is going to come through and we're going to blend it out. So, for... Uh, beauty sponge guys I've actually got a new one you guys know my favorite sponges are the Juno and Co sponges which have been sold out I don't know where to get them in the UK anymore I'm not sure they have a UK retailer which I'm super sad about because those are my favorite sponges I recently picked up the Mima cosmetics beauty sponge I already used it once it's super super soft um as far as like longevity has a little bit of red on the um bottom from using blush and I just like i'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about it getting stained it's like aesthetic and really nice but i always prefer a black blender like it's just easier i can already tell it's gonna be really high coverage so i'm gonna have to do a lot of blending because i feel like i put on quite a lot so bear with me we're gonna blend this down as best as i possibly can but this sponge is super soft like it feels like i'm hardly anything on my skin which is nice especially because under our eyes are like the most delicate part of our skin anything soft is welcome so Let's just blend this in. Super high coverage. Like, when I say this concealer is high coverage, like... HMB really did their thing. I have to give them their tens because I didn't have to add anything more. Like I literally took the wand out of the tube, applied and put it back in. Like I didn't have to dip in and it looks so good. So for my nose contour, I'm looking real ghostly. I need to bronze. <laughs> so for my nose contour, you guys know I usually use my C18 concealer, Conceal and Define. But I picked up the C18 concealer in XX Revolution instead because I really do like this concealer. Um... The formula of it is very nice, it's hydrating and it's very blendable. Apply this. And a little goes a long way with this concealer, so I don't want to put too much. 
we have this ABH cream bronzer in Chasna. It was literally 50% off on Beauty Bay and I was like, excuse me, add to cart, check out, like what? I love the colour, super warm and I feel like this is going to take over from my NARS because you guys know I've been using my NARS for, since I got it on my birthday, I've just been using it non-stop. I think the colour is everything I've been looking for in a bronzer. I feel like I've been on the lookout for really good cream bronzer for the longest time and my main thing has been like I want it to be warm I want like when I bronze for me to look warm I don't want to look cool or like I contoured and this is giving everything I want it to give now, this is literally my favorite part of makeup I think this is gonna overtake my NARS for sure in my everyday routine because the color is doing everything for me this sponge is so nice so I love how bouncy it is I really hope they come out with a like an all black one because I would love that. I like the colour of this and the aesthetic, but I just feel like for like a, it to last like more than a month, I need a black one. Do you guys see this? Are we seeing this? Oh my gosh, where was I? Where was I? I can't believe I slept on this bronzer. I actually can't believe I slept on this bronzer. I actually can't believe it so now we're gonna go over and set we're gonna use another hmb product this is their soft focus loose powder for i might as well get the two together this is in the shade banana whenever i hear powders are called banana i get nervous because us black girls have been through some stuff when it comes to the beauty industry like banana powders shade ranges undertones flashback like it's been a journey and banana just doesn't give me good memories but we're gonna try her out apparently this is super fine and again clock up love it so let's see wow this is actually really really nice it's very fine it like disappears into the skin like so i'm literally gonna finish setting but i just it really disappears into the skin it's really good this powder is so nice and it's just so fine and it just literally melts into the skin it's definitely giving soft focus as it said it's so good so now that we've set we're gonna go into bronzer so i finally bought this bronzer everyone says it's amazing and everyone raves about it so it's the charlotte tilbury bronzer in the shade deep of course the deepest shade which i feel like should be a couple shades like i don't understand how she has four powders for everybody like girl we need more okay so my first impressions it's I feel like if you have Fenty bronzers or you know of Fenty bronzers, I feel like this is the middle between Mocha Mami and Thick Min. I wish she was a little bit more deeper, especially because this is the deeper shade. And I'm not the darkest, like, I'm not in the darkest, like, category of dark skin. So, like, if this isn't that deep to me, like, girl, what is going on? But anyways, I'm going to use a really fluffy brush and we're going to go ahead and bronze. And I feel like it should look really good because I feel like I did a good job with my cream bronzer kind of warm up and like calm down that powder i'm loving the glam i'm loving the glam i feel like it looks really good so I guess we should do some blush. Do you know what? I haven't actually seen any blushes that I really like. What is going on with Fenty? To be honest, Fenty haven't been releasing like products that I'm interested in. The last Fenty product I was interested in was like the new bronzer, Big Mint. What else came out from Fenty that I was like, oh, I need to get? There was nothing. They haven't released any like really good baggers. I think it's because like since they have like Fenty skin now, I feel like they've been f releasing quite a lot of Fenty skin. But Fenty Beauty, like, where's the lip liners? Where's the like girl? I don't know. I feel like I feel like Rihanna went on maternity leave and then that was that. Like no one even bothered to clock back in. Like it just been on autopilot and we need somebody to clock in. But anyways, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath today. I was gonna use my Made by Mitchell. I might use a little bit, but I'm gonna go pat first. This is um, my favorite Paradise Venus blush. And I'm gonna start that off. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go with my Made by Mitchell. This is the Made by Mitchell blush. I'm actually gonna mix it with peach sugar. And I'm just gonna use my sponge and diffuse that down. And when I apply liquid blush, I always apply it like here 
like this area and then once you blend it out it diffuses out so you don't really want to put it here because it'll diffuse out under your eyes so i always kind of bring it back and then bring it down my grandma has really high cheekbones and i feel like i'm just realizing i have high cheekbones too or it's because i've been in the gym and i've been losing weight and i'm really seeing them like i don't know if you guys can see them but my cheekbones are up here I, can you guys see it let me know who don't want high cheekbones <laughs> um so that's blush i think that's basically everything right okay mascara's on so we're about done i feel like i did this pretty quickly so to set my face, I'm going to use this Elf Setting Mist. Everyone's been talking about this. People have been comparing it to the Charlotte Tilbury spray. I've used the Charlotte Tilbury spray. I need to re-up on it, to be honest. And I just feel like nothing can compare to that. Like this, I've used it a couple of times and it's really, really good. If you're looking for a drugstore, affordable setting spray that really sets your makeup, this is really good. But nothing compares to Charlotte Tilbury to me. Like the way it makes your skin feel, like you can feel like your makeup setting and then it just stays literally all day this is a really really good alternative but i would never i, I don't think i would call it a dupe the girls are like oh it's exactly the same it's exactly no it's not this i personally don't think it is so i'm gonna set my face one thing i will say though i do i do prefer the smell of the fragrance in this it's much more fresh and easy to breathe through i don't like any product that has rosy rosy fragrance like the synthetic rose fragrance i don't like and that charlotte tilbury spray rose all up and through it i could i just hate it but the product itself is really good but anyways also this dries down really fast as well which i like and this nozzle is really good it doesn't like it doesn't feel like it's spitting you know when you get these size sprays that just like like the fix plus Ugh. cannot stand the way it comes out but yeah so we set our face now let's get into the final touches so let's do lips i didn't get any new lip liners but i did get a new lip blouse so this is the oh another elf product this is the alpha plumping gloss in pink cosmo i just want to try it out i'd seen it in a few um lip combos and i was like What's another gloss? Do you guys know I love lip gloss? Like, it's my thing. Um, I have too many. I actually need to re-up on my favourite, which is my Gloss Bomb Heat. I really need to get a new one of these. Like, you guys can see. You guys can see how I don't have much left. And I'm rationing this. And I don't know what's going on with Morphe's parent company, but apparently they're going out of business. I need to know now. Morphe needs to tell me where the warehouse is or at least give me the manufacturer's number because the girls need Richie in their life. I'm so sorry. Like, because honey, this shade is everything and if they're gonna go away i need to know where to get it from i feel like um more of you played a really big part in youtube like the beauty community and the like you know growth of it especially like especially like 2017 2018 2016 like morphe was that brand that like when you was able to start your makeup journey but i'm gonna use this elf gloss It's giving, you know, I tried on the NYX Milky Glosses when I got them. I love them glosses. I need to use them more. I'm going to go over top of it with a clear gloss just because it feels a little bit sticky and I want it to feel a bit more smooth. So I'm going to go with it. Much, much better. My face looks freaking flawless. I'm not going to laugh. So I'm going to release my hair, straighten it out. Final touches before I take out my hair and stuff and straighten it out again. I got this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flow Finish Powder in number two. This is the Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. This, the girls was raving about this and saying like, you need this for under your eyes. Now, some people were using two and three. I got two, which is the, only the second shade out of four shades. So it's super light. I was having some problems with creasing under my eyes in the last month. And when I started using this, like as a final step, gone and it just made a visible difference like it may not make a big difference on camera but in real life like my under eyes looked flawless in every light every mirror i looked in it was looking a1 this is how she looks so yes very very light very light and i know charlotte came out with a new powder which is like the brightening powder but um this is a brightening powder for me i don't really need to go for a brightening like i'm just use this so um should i use a new brush i just realized i have these brushes from um kaleidos so cute right i think there's another one but i'm gonna use this one for under my eyes and i'm just literally gonna press my brush in lightly pack 
this would have been better to do after I well before I did my mascara kind of should have done this before my mascara but that's okay I don't know if you guys can tell the difference I feel like it definitely looks brighter but this little small part first of all I love how it makes makeup look but generally just flawless all around okay so now i'm just gonna take out my hair straighten it be back to show you guys a finished look i just give you guys a rundown of all these products but what do you guys think let me know in the comments okay guys so i'm back with the finished look what do you guys think i'm literally obsessed with the eyes like i haven't done like a shimmery colorful look in a while and i'm i'm super like i'm loving it i feel like i did a really good job give me my 10 give me my 10 because i feel like i did good I haven't done my makeup in so long and i feel like i hit it out of the park i feel like i did a really good job so quick wrap up of the products um let's just talk about my favorite so far this is like a first impression type of video the abh bronzer everything 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 i feel like i should invest in it in a long time i feel like people really don't talk about that bronzer enough um maybe it's because people don't use cream bronzers like that but honestly i feel like out of the bronzers i've used that's my favorite one in terms of shade in terms of quality of blendability everything give her her tens um i feel like abh i won't say like i feel like people don't use abh as much i feel like maybe there was a time where like they were the most popular and i don't know if people just got bored of it or their products just didn't hit the same but that one is amazing and actually makes me more intrigued to try the magic touch concealer um so that has to be like one of my favorites um when it comes to charlotte tilbury let's discuss let's discuss because everybody loves charlotte tilbury it's a luxury brand people love it um the bronzer i feel like i could have been more impressed i feel like i wish it was a little bit more deeper it gave a little bit more depth um definitely does a really good job it looks really nice blends super softly and just gives an all-around flawless look but i just wish the shade was a little had a little bit more depth to it um and considering that's the deeper shade girl we need more than that we need more than that the under eye powder has to be one of my new favorite products i have in my collection yes it is pricey because i do believe it's like 36 pounds and it's not a lot i think yeah you get eight grams in here which isn't a lot of powder but um for what i want it to do i feel like it's really good do i think it's necessary no only get it if it's in your budget and it's something you want to try but i actually really enjoy it so yeah definitely like that concealer and powder the hmb cosmetics amazing for a small brand really 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 good job like the concealer knocks it out of the park for me like i did i didn't know what to expect i really didn't and the coverage is super strong like i don't think you need as much like i didn't need as much i did not need that much like i could have put way less and still got a very nice coverage i'd never pick that up for a clean makeup look or every day like no unless it's everyday glam no like that is coverage amazing concealer powder beautiful very finely milled doesn't give too much color to your under eyes it literally just sets everything in place i really really like it of course i've got to use it a bit more and see how it settles down Blido's eyeshadow palette love it pigmented blends well what else do you need in the palette really like the colors in there as well super nice yeah i think that's basically everything oh the sponge the me mark is my sponge beautiful sponge i just wish it came in black honestly i really wish it came in black because as much as the color looks good and aesthetic wise it looks good it's just as far as like actual um actually using it and usability i think i don't know how far it's gonna last because after the first you know use it's like the aesthetics kind of goes away from it because it's like who cares like, we just want to use blend our makeup so um yeah i guess that's it for today's video i really enjoyed getting ready and using all these products i can't wait to see kind of what stays in my everyday kit and what kind of just goes into my collection but i really enjoyed everything i don't think i missed i think this little haul that i did over the last month and a half was money well spent because nothing i got missed at all but yeah let me know how you guys felt about all these new products do you guys have any of these are these on your wish list again don't forget to follow me on instagram guys because if i do see any deals i always put them up on there so you guys can quickly shop them i just want to finish off the video with this point i feel like we've been stuck in soft glam mode since 2020 everyone wants to do neutral glam less is more all of that stuff and that's cute and everything but i want to see my girls in color like i'm tired of the neutrals and like it's cute and everything but jump out with some color like just because you have a little color on your eyeshadow or even on your lipstick doesn't mean you look tacky or make you look crazy like there's a way to 
do your makeup to a way that suits you that still gives opulence that still gives elegance that still gives luxe you know it's a way to do it and also pro tip for my black girls my black women purple looks really really good on our skin tones and especially with brown eyes so don't sleep on purple but um yeah again hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up let me know you like this video also when you thumbs up youtube will recommend more of my content to you guys okay so make sure you thumbs up comment um don't forget to subscribe if you have not and yeah i will see you guys in my next one